Good Wednesday morning everybody, I'm meteorologist Brett Luna and the big story for today that is going to be Tropical Storm Gordon. Gordon made landfall last night along the Gulf Coast. Already moved up though a little bit further into the state and that's basically crossing over Interstate 20 right now and that's what you're seeing right here. That's the center of circulation on Gordon. As of right now, it appears that Gordon is continuing on that northwesterly track at about 14 miles an hour. So that will be putting it over basically directly over the delta here later on today. But with that said, we are expecting the possibility of some heavy rainfall, and that's why we're seeing this flash flood watch already in effect. That's going to be in effect for areas well out ahead of the path of Gordon. So with that in place, we are expecting the possibility of between two to four inches of rainfall in throughout the rest of today. So definitely a possibility for flash flooding. So if you do come up to any of those flooded roadways, it's definitely a better idea and a safer idea to just turn around because you never know how deep that water is going to be. This right here is our most up to date radar scan and there's the center of circulation of Gordon right there. But we are already starting to see some of those heavier outer bands move into parts of Interstate 55. So basically if you're along Interstate 55 and south of Highway 82. You are seeing some of that heavier rainfall right now. All that will continue to move off on that northwesterly track, taking that to areas back closer to the river here just a little bit later this morning. Temperatures right now, we're seeing those in the low 70s for the most part. 72 right now in Batesville. It's 72 in Clarksdale. Greenville right here at 71. Greenwood at 74 for the current temperature. So this right here is a map of our current wind speeds. We're seeing winds in Greenville and Greenwood coming out of the north northeast at seven and eight miles an hour in Jackson back closer to that center of circulation. We're seeing those winds around 17 miles an hour out of the north in Vicksburg north northeasterly winds at 10 miles an hour. As we go throughout the rest of the day though and Gordon moves closer to us, we are going to see our chance for some strong gusty winds increase a little bit later on today. So here's our future cast view and this right here, that is the center of Gordon. So throughout the rest of the morning, that's going to continue to push off on that westerly track. That's going to take that rain chance to areas back closer to the river. And then by noon, we are going to keep the chance for some heavy shower activity remaining in the forecast. Same goes for the rest of the afternoon. We're going to keep the chance for some heavy rainfall in areas throughout the rest of today and during the overnight hours. For tomorrow morning, that heavier rainfall will still be a possibility for the morning hours. Same goes for the afternoon. We're going to continue to see some of these outer bands continue to filter into the area. That's going to keep about a 70% chance of rain in place for the rest of the day tomorrow. So definitely some widespread activity throughout the next couple of days. Here's the Storm Prediction Center's most, uh, most up-to-date outlook right here. So this is their severe weather outlook. Everybody in that darker green area, that is a marginal risk. That is a one out of five on their scale. And that's basically been issued because we are expecting the chance for a couple of brief isolated tornadoes later on this afternoon. So the chance will stay low, but there is going to be about a 2% chance for some of those brief isolated tornadoes really from about noon until later on this evening. So that's basically re the reason that marginal risk right there was issued. As far as the other severe weather threats go, uh, high winds, there's going to be about a medium risk for that. We should see some of those stronger wind gusts along Interstate 55 and south of Highway 82. Hail, not really a concern at all, but flooding. We are going to see a pretty good possibility for some flash flooding to occur in some areas. We could see around two to four inches of rainfall, but some areas could even see a little bit more than that as Gordon continues to move over us. Temperatures for the rest of the day will be held a little bit lower than normal thanks to the additional cloud cover and the rain. We're going to be around 81 at noon, 83 for the high today at 2 o'clock, back down to 81 by 4 o'clock. Then later on tonight, the heavy rain shower is definitely still a possibility. 73 for your low tonight, mostly cloudy. Winds will remain out of the east at 10 to 15 miles an hour late tonight. Then tomorrow, temperatures not moving too much on us at all. 86 for the high tomorrow. Keeping that widespread cloud cover around and the chance for some widespread showers, possibly a few thunderstorms with this as well. Winds, they'll be out of the southeast at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Then right here on your seven day forecast, Friday the rain chance will drop a little bit, but still a 50% chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures will jump back up a little bit, 89 for your high temperature on Friday. As of right now for the weekend, we are going to keep the chance for some of those showers and thunder showers and thunderstorms in place. 90 for your high on Saturday, 88 on Sunday, and then as we go on into the beginning of next week, still keeping a pretty decent chance for some showers and thunderstorms with high temperatures in the mid 80s for Monday and Tuesday.